So step your feet wide. Turn your toes outward. Good. Bring your hands to your hips, rolling your shoulders back and down. Beautiful. Draw that navel in and up. A nice straight line here. Ears over shoulders and shoulders over hips. Take a bend in those knees and let's sink straight down. Good. So you want to be spreading the mat apart with your feet energetically and continuing to move the knees toward the sides. Release the shoulders. Again, check in, make sure that core is engaged, your spine is long and straight. Good, and then go ahead and open up your arms into goddess pose. So we want our elbows to be extensions of our shoulders and then our hands to stack right on top of those with the fan, fingers fanning wide. With the fingers fanning wide. Good, draw the shoulders back slightly and down. Lift the elbows up just a little bit. So the hand position that we have here is called fearless. It's a hand mudra or a seal that we put on energy. So as you hold this goddess pose, imagine that your heart is wide open. You are strong and courageous. You are fearless. Close your eyes and just feel into that. Good. Bring your hands to your hips. Stand up, straightening the legs, and then we're going to turn our right toes forward, keeping our back foot kind of angled, just enough to keep our hips open, because our hips and shoulders are going to shine the sidewall. Take your right hand forward, left hand back, making sure they're about shoulder height, and then bend into that front knee, allowing that knee to track with your front foot, making sure it's not collapsing. Beautiful. Relax the shoulders down, holding this warrior pose, this courageous, fearless position, turn your palms up. Take a bend in your elbow. Now take a look in this mirror in front of you. See yourself fearless and courageous. What is it in your back hand that you need to let go of to achieve what you desire, to be courageous, to press into those things you're afraid of? Breathe into that. Good. Now straighten into that front arm as if you're pointing for it. Whatever you seek, you will find. Relax the shoulders down. Straighten into that front leg. Keeping the arms out, turn your right toes in. Turn the left toes forward. Good. Bend into your front knee. Let it stack right over that left ankle. Create another mirror by bending your front elbow. Again. Maybe you can see yourself a little more clearly here, that fearless, courageous person. And then what is it in your back hand that you need to receive? Ask for it. Invite it in. Sometimes it's help. Sometimes it's something else. So what is it that you need to feel fearless and courageous? What do you need to feel fearless and courageous? Beautiful job. <laughs> Beautiful job. Straighten into that front arm. Straighten the front leg. Bring your hands to your hips. Angling your toes forward. And then begin to just slide your hips back, folding forward, releasing, letting go, as if you could just let the fear roll right off of your back. Maybe your hands take a hold of the outer edges of your feet. Maybe you bring the hands to the backs of the legs. Just allowing your tail to slide up and your crown to slide down. Breathe here. Let it go. Whatever no longer serves you, whatever doesn't support you, you don't need it anymore. Beautiful job. Bring your hands to your hips. Slowly come up with a nice straight spine, core engaged, shoulders back and down. And then toe heel your feet together. Good. Grounding down evenly through the feet, bring your hands to your heart. A tall mountain here. 